the shank, the shot we hit from the heel of the club, the one that we all dread. Um, this comes from so many different um, issues in the swing. Uh, I think I'd like to start with I think one of the most common ones I see, which is a little bit of instability in the grip, a little bit too loose. There's like the club head's moving around. We tend to sometimes get to the top of the swing and let go here. So the club's changing its position in the hand. So when we come back down to impact, it can sometimes lead to a closed face shank or sometimes it can lead to an open face shank. Um, so we need to ensure that we've got our hands nice and securely on the golf club so that they're not going to let go of the club and the club's not going to twist in the hand. So that's one of the, the areas I need to sort of discuss with you. Um, another, another area we've got the shank where we come over the top of the shot. So we get the, the guy that's trying to work it slightly on the inside, fans it open a little bit as he comes into the backswing and then reroutes it, comes right over the top of it and then he's going to present the heel of the golf club to the to the ball so it's this sort of in over straight on top of it and he's going to just hit it out of the socket and then you've got the other guy that just gets a little bit stuck on the inside so he gets it drops it on the inside a little bit too much the legs are sliding and then he's got stuck on the inside and open face shank and away it goes to the right so those are a couple of areas those are sort of the paths that we get that can cause the shanks um, and then from from there what we need to also just work on is a little bit of stability um, often we get a little bit too far away because we're fearful of the shank so we're addressing it the heels come off off the floor a little bit and that can throw us off balance and again we're throwing that club head over the top heel strike and then you've got the guy that gets a little bit too close to it at address absolutely no room to get the club in into the ball so he's trying to back out of it opens the face up and away it goes to the right Okay, so distance from the ball is um, a, a crucial sort of aspect of our setup position to try and avoid that, that socket. So we're looking to get ourselves in a nice balanced position. We don't want to get ourselves too far away where our heels are coming off the floor. That will get the club being sort of thrown out and you get the socket coming into the ball. And we don't want to be in a position where we're sort of way back on our heels like so because that will just get us too far on the inside. and opening the club face up so the ideal position we're looking to just almost imagine you're just being dropped into the position almost like you're going to lift a very heavy weight so you're nice and solid a little bit of knee flex arms just clear of your thighs hanging underneath your sort of your throat area so there's a nice natural hanging position of the arms and that gives you loads of space to get the club into the gap between your body and the ball okay so as i mentioned there are many reasons for the shank, one of which is this sort of over the top swing. I've just sort of set up a very simple little drill here to help us uh, visualize slightly more in to out swing. So we've got the guy that sort of fans it open inside and then comes over the top of it, then presents the heel into the ball at impact. So I've just put a T there to encourage us to just keep on the inside coming into the ball. So attacking it slightly from the inside and just allowing the hands to release through the ball and that should prevent us from getting that over the top sort of shut face squeezed shank so coming at it from the inside and releasing it down the line and just give yourself maybe this guy just needs to give himself a little bit more room at the address and maybe address it from the toe slightly as well that that might just help